foods, trauma, fear, pain. Where will I put the water? Dogs, cats, ostriches. How much water will I need? Rivers, more rocks, inconspicuous highways, pedals, dust. That's it. What if we rode every trail at the Cocopelli Trail Systems in Loma, Colorado? You know what's more fun than going on a average trail ride? Riding every single trail at your local trail system. Today we're riding the Cocopelli trails, every single one here in Loma, Colorado, and I'll be doing it here on the Marin Elroy. To make today even more fun, aside from the 40 miles and close to 6,000 feet of elevation gain, I have six challenge sections that include everything from tricks to manuals. We have a whole gallon of water as well as some child fruit snacks dropped off at about the halfway point. So hopefully those are still there when we get there. All right, we've made it to our first challenge section, which is a really big slick rock climb here and uh, the goal is to no dab on it. I think the funniest thing about this Coco Loco ride is this is my first time riding this trail this direction. <laughs> Straight to the chain ring. Woo! That's the top of the first climb. Three miles, thousand vertical. And let's just say I never said I was gonna get this done quickly. Hardtails definitely make it a lot more fun. Uh, as you see by some of those climbs, you just kind of bounce everywhere and it's pretty exciting. <laughs> So we're done with our first loop. I'm actually feeling pretty good. We're uh, 11 miles in. We're gonna eat some, some food and uh, go out for the real big one next. I don't feel bad at all. Been having a lot of fun on the descent. I think that's gonna change soon though. The top tier city market sandwich. Feel me like one of your French girls, Tim. I'm a little bit tired right now and we have this beautiful bump over here and I'm going to crank flip it. I've never crank flipped this bike, so we'll see how it goes. And you know, the seat is not bent. <clears throat> See, perfect. We are at the horse thief bench, which is number three on the challenge section. This is really probably the rockiest, most rough thing. And we're doing it on hard tails. So it's gonna be a blast. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was nice. I give up. I'm failing it. Failed. I am getting pretty tired to the point where I'm starting not to have 
proper position on this bike and it is starting to kick me around. Nobody ever said I was an athlete. Uh, you know, I'm just getting my mid-ride stretch in. We're really not that far in. You know, we're kind of in the pain cave. Everything is getting dark. You just see a circle. Now, lying in the toy belt, so this is all new to me. Whoa. All right, it is mile 30.4, and we've done 3,700 foot of gain, and I am ready for challenge number four, which is a flat ground 180. And we're gonna do it right now while the camera's rolling. First try. Oh. oh, yeah, free ride. <laughs> Was it good? In all seriousness, we are running low on water. We're gonna have to crank out some miles here. We're only seven hours in, 30 miles in, you got it. too what are we where how are we feeling not good bad bad even got that old people crust on the side of my mouth we got a thousand feet of climbing to go down something really gnarly and then we have another 500 feet of climbing challenge section number five lawnmower on Hawkeye Section's cracked. Uh, I don't think you could. Uh, I don't think you could ride down this with any. You got about a 90% chance of death. You were really like on a child's bike. Stop talking. Let's go. Oh crap! Oh wow! Oh, get it, Tony! Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> Yes, buddy. It's just a hand dab. Okay? It's just a hand dab. It doesn't count. Oh! Oh! Unicycle. Oh! No, dude. Oh, wow. We're back, but we're not done yet. What do you got to do? Number six. I have to do a 360 going backwards. I have to do a full cam. And we're just going to go straight for it. Three tries. First try! 
Well, we finished it. And even though it was probably one of the hardest bike rides I've ever done, I highly recommend that some of your friends and your family and your cat and dog go out and do this because it was a very fun experience, even though it hurt a little bit. I had a blast and you should go out and try it yourself. <laughs> it is eight o'clock in April. It is almost dark and and we've been out here since nine. I mean, we, we got here at eight thirty. We started riding at nine, so 11 hours.